I'm here with Steve Mould from Britain's Brightest BBC One show. Steve, um, we got you in because we saw something on your YouTube channel involving these balls. There's about 8,000 beads on the chain. It's 50 metres long and it behaves in this really weird way. They continue to self-siphon all the way to the end uh, and it does this weird extra thing as well. We wanted to figure out what was going on with that uh, and so maybe a slow motion video would help. So the first thing to explain is why does the uh, why do, why does the chain keep going? That's quite easy, really. If you look at it as a sort of tug of war, so you can see here very easily why uh, why this bit of chain is winning the tug of war. Because I mean, if, if in my hand I can feel that it's heavier on this side than yeah, it is sure. on that side, right? Yeah, it's a good weight. Though. You can see this is going to be travelling really quickly as it falls, which means this chain here is going to be travelling really quickly as well. And if you've got something travelling really quickly, it's got momentum, right? So you've got this travelling up, and it wants to change so that it's traveling down but it can't do that in an instant because right. that would require infinite force instead what it does is it changes direction slowly over the course of, of a loop so that's why it, it, it almost has to be a loop because it needs that time and it needs that space to change direction so not only do you get this loop coming out of the pot but you see waves in the chain as well that seem to be sort of stuck in space and then right. you get these corkscrews and things like that and I think I know why that might be happening. I think it's when parts of the chain uh, strike the rim uh, of the uh, uh, of the pot, um, and, and that sort of uh, knock on the chain travels as a shock wave through the chain. Well, well, I'll show you what I mean. So if you grab grab at uh, the end there, okay. Are we ready to slow mo this? Yeah. All right, here we go. So I'm going to just tap the chain, uh -huh. and you'll see it travels a shockwave, and we'll see it on the slow mo as well. So that shockwave was travelling quickly through the chain there, but if I was pulling the chain this way at the same time, mm -hmm. that shockwave would would be stuck oh, because course, it's yeah, it's yeah, travelling yeah. along, but I'm pulling the chain. Yeah. So so you see it almost frozen in space <laughs> like that, and and that's what you're seeing in the pot. Sometimes you're seeing that this sort of almost a corkscrew or or, or waves. Yeah. Here's that corkscrew. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing. Yeah. Hopefully, the higher you hold it then the, the heavier that chain is, you've got more chain, it's heavier, so it's going to be going quicker. If it's going quicker, the chain on the inside will be going quicker, and it'll, the loop will have to go higher. So okay. we should, if we hold it up, get a much bigger loop. Let's so try that. Let's, let's try that. I'd, I'd say that's going about twice as high as it was uh, when I had the pot down here. All I've done is, is, is hold it up there. That loop is definitely bigger. So for me, you know, your theory kind well, of holds water. I there. think it's proof beyond all doubt uh, <laughs> that I've got that right. <laughs> uh, well, no, I think, it, I think there's still unanswered questions and uh, we don't fully know what's going on there. So if people have got ideas, you know. Um, yeah, absolutely. If you've got ideas, yeah. let us know in the comments. You know, what do you think yeah. of Steve's idea? If you've got your own theory as to why this is happening, we'd love to hear it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Earth Unplug and go over to Steve um, at Steve Mould and subscribe there as well. He's got some awesome other videos on there too. Uh, we'll see you next time on Slow Mo. 
I've got a jar here which is full of a chain of beads. There's about 8,000 beads on the chain. It's 50 meters long and it behaves in this really weird way. 